All right, folks. So it looks like PS PSN went down for a bit. Um, can't just came back up. I was trying to reconnect. Uh, so yeah, uh, let's continue on. I don't really want to stop there. I was gonna actually probably quit pretty quick after that, before that. But now I kind of want to push it through a little bit more since I spent all this time trying to reconnect and restream. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Oh man, I got real lucky the first time, didn't I? <laughs> Don't know how far I'll push into it, to be honest. I did a lot today. I just kind of wanted to rebroadcast a little bit since I spent so much time. I didn't want it to just end there, and yeah, that'd be disappointing and kind of lame. But I feel like I'm kind of tilted at this point, exhausted. I, mean, I could prob probably play more, but it seems like it's dimension returns at this point. Keep doing this shit. Ugh. Why do I have to fight these people again? They're the worst. I love it when video games repurpose their bosses for normal enemies. <sighs> This is pretty quick to get up there so I can die over and over again. That's cool. I wonder if I can stun him. Probably not. Since they probably have the same frames as the other bosses. Oh, interesting. This makes this way easier. Holy shit. That didn't kill him. Fuck your ass. Alright, well at least I know I can stun him. Guess your fireballs, you piece of shit. Alright. Now that I'm using my brain instead of just like doing stupid shit over and over again. This might be a little easier. I forgot we have the stupid pigs to fight. Me out. Eyeballs freak me out. God, these fucking pigs are the most annoying enemy in this game. Bar none. Glitchy as fuck. They do 10,000 damage. Oh, that's a lot of souls. That's a lot of souls I just earned, too. Holy shit. This might be a good farming place. Maybe. Oh, 
Oh, come the fuck on. You have to be legit fucking kidding me right now. Where's my fucking... Fine, you fuckers, you wanna go? I can't burn out. Oh, it's my last pebble, boys. Looks cool for bolt. Man, these guys have a fuck ton of vials. Holy shit. I mean, this would be a good area to farm vials, too. Keep it on, lady. I'm gonna get this treasure chest. Restoring a large amount, larger amount of HP. Interesting. Should I attack her? Uh, she seems kind of sad. Am I close, guys? Is this the end? Guys, is there supposed to be something under that hood? Oh, this is uh, not looking good for me. I even do. Oh, 
I fucked up there. I uh, committed too much time to just attacking her over and over again there and just caught up in one of her animations. Instead of using my animations to my advantage. And hers as well. I just let her overtake me, which was stupid. Can I run past everything? That's my question. Because that's like a lot of area of like difficult enemies. Isn't there like a thing? Yeah, there's like... No, I guess that doesn't work. Yeah, but like right here. Why not? So, question is, can I run past these guys? This is the question. Can I go this way? Is this a shortcut? You son of a bitch. I've been down here. Maybe this is a shortcut. What's the point of this? That's beautiful. This game looks great. Oh shit. Give me that bloodstone. Fuck. Blood rock, whatever it's called. Bed rock, blood rock. That just that uh, that that's not super useful. I don't know, maybe it gave me more fucking craft lives I don't need. More of that shit. I don't need more of that. I need the bigger one. Give me the bigger one. I was hoping that'd be a shortcut. Well does this count? I'll walk through all these guys. I guess that's okay. At least I've learned about that. It is a shortcut technically, I guess. That's alright. I'll take it. Small victories. I don't even know what killing the bell lady does, anyway. She's pretty dumb. Alright. Nope. Nope. Fuck you all. I'm not go here either. All right, thank God. All right, boys, found a found a shortcut. I felt like there one had to be around here. All right, that makes this a lot easier. Aware of message. Okay. Do this again. <laughs> Jesus. Tateth. I'm tilting. I'm tilting. <sighs> if only I had a blood stun. That would make this game easier. Wherever that fully upgrades it, like there's nothing else I can upgrade at past that point. Oh, this way. I'm 
toting. I'm toting, boys. I wonder if I should just use my bolt paper. It was a noticeable more d amount of damage. Or this is the final boss. Or close to. I don't know if it has quite the weight of a final boss, but... Alright, pull... jeez, that was almost dated again there. Yeah, rally up, boys. Let's do this again. I can walk around while doing it. You know what? Fuck it. Let's do it again. I think it's a lot though. Is that what that was supposed to do in the first place? Because I didn't notice it doing that last time. I got caught in the middle of that shit. This is a fun boss. It's really technical. Holy fuck. Oh my god. Okay. Does it keep spawning it? Yeah. When does it spawn them? It's when it does it when it's after it engages its last attack. Do I just have to wait the mist out? Hmm. 
Hmm. Interesting. I assume it's untargetable as well, so I can't like do damage to it. That'd be my guess. Oh, I got it pretty low that time. I think I got it kind of figured out. I just have to be quick on the dodge. I can get in and out pretty quickly as long as I uh, figure out the right timing on that stuff. It's a really cool boss. It's a really interesting boss and it's fun design too. This might be the best boss of this game, apart from Blood Craving Beast. Blood Star Beast, whatever it is. I still don't really know what I'm doing here. I think that's the problem, is that this game feels more story-like driven than the last couple Dark Souls games, but I don't really know why I'm doing anything I'm doing. seen that comment from me. Oh fuck. Oh shit. Wait, when did it do that last? get anywhere near when it does this shit. Can I just wait it out? Is that what I'm supposed to do? Okay, so... No. It doesn't go away. I'm really confused. I thought that was like a low life kind of thing. Where does it spawn? Is it spawn relative to my location or to its location? I think it's my location. But if so, I can just out dodge it and then get attacks in on the real one and then dodge it back out. I think that's what's going on. Hmm. Alright, let's give it another go. I feel like I have this almost figured out, so I don't really want to stop this stream now. Until I beat it. So I feel like I've almost got this here. It kind of threw a curveball at me that one time. Maybe it's because I went in... Hmm. That couldn't be right. Well, my, my thought was is that during the first time it does that very first time, it does the mist that you can't see through. But I don't remember it's finding the second guy. I'm just wondering what variables instigated where that happened. Just because I didn't attack it at all when it was conjuring the mist. That it didn't summon the second one. Is it just a mistake going in when it, it does that mist thing? I'm going to try going in on it again when it conjures the mist if I'm close enough. If I'm too far away from it, I have to risk a lot to do it. I'm not going to do it and see if it still does it. Hunter's never alone. Beware of night. Beautiful, really. Time for unbreakable wills.
Lose my mojo. Losing it. Smos. See that second one. There it is. What the fuck? So what dictates its spawn? Yep. Maybe I'll just try to wait the mist out. Oh my god! Fuck off! Oh fuck you! You fuck this game. I thought the mist was gone. Okay, now it's gone. This is a terrible run. How did I not dodge that? I'm being greedy. Feels like it's gotten harder though. Ever since it conjured the cone. My second one was my best friend. I'm just gonna wait this shit out. So weird, it doesn't spawn any side increments. Mm. Go away. Which they have no power over this thing when it does that. Alright, should I pop it? Pop one of my expendable items. I don't think it was worth it. I really fucked up. I think I just have to wait it out. Honestly, I think I just wait out the mist, wait until that cone goes away, then I can go back in on it. Because, like, going in on it now during that thing, I can't tell the patterns very well. Sometimes it'll, like, there'll be a set pattern, and then it'll, like, disappear for long periods of time, and then it'll show up again. So it's, like, almost borderline unpredictable. It still confused me, because that very first time I was fighting the mist, it didn't fucking appear at all. I didn't attack it the first time this boss fight and still spawned it. So I don't know what's proccing that. Probably don't have that many blood vials yet. I have a bunch of uh, consumables that I can go to pop.
That was a bad run. This, this, hopefully this one's better. That was fun. That was a that was the best boss fight of this game yet. Really interesting, really technical. Go away, missed. Go away. Shoot. I wonder if, I wonder if this will never disappear now. Nightmare slain. Okay, that's different. There, one third of a umbilical. the cord of the eye. Every infinite great one has this precursor to the umbilical cord. Every great one loses its child and then yearns for a surrogate. This cord grants menace audience with Mergo, but resulted in the stillbirth of their brains. Used to gain insight and, so they say, eyes on the inside, although no one remembers what that truly entails. This is so confusing. So wait, they, there's n great ones don't reproduce because they always lose their young, and then this is their surrogate. Hmm. Interesting. All right. I don't see where else to go.
That's probably the most, like, actual useful narrative that's been in this game so far. Was that one item. Uh... I guess the sky's kinda clearish, the moon's clear. This fucking place is on fire. <laughs> Good hunter, dawn will soon break. Gammon awaits you. At the foot. Good hunter, I s Farewell, good hunt. Can I still upgrade my shit? Okay. No. I feel like the end is at hand, friends. My esports journey is almost finished, I think. Soon. I will have conquered, but weren't hopefully. We'll see. I didn't even know in this stream I would do that. Weird. Um, anything cool? Get before the final battle? You know, all garbage? Use this fucking insect shop. Uh, how many blood files do I have? Well, let me upgrade first. Gammon, wait. Go on. Gammon, who's that? Is that the hunter guy? Um, See how many blood flasks I have in reserve. What I assume would be the final fight here. Twelve? Not great. But I think leveling up is more important here. Gammon awaits you. Go. Very well. Let me. One, two, three, four. This is three. That means me thirty-two. That means me thirty-three. This is better. That one point each. I'm good. Alright. Good hunt. I farewell, good hunter. All right, buy some more flasks. Twenty-six. So that's okay. Not great, but uh, where's a great tree? Oh, there's a locked door over this way. So maybe I have a key for that now. I did get a key. Key to the iron gate blocking the great mid level bridge. I don't even know where that is. Is that like an optional boss fight or something? Or is this like. Oh, this already opened, so. Hmm. This looks like a boss fight in area. It's pretty cool looking. It did say Nightmare Slaying, is that- was that the final boss? Series awesome looking. Good hunter, you've done well. The night is near its end. Now, I will show you mercy. Thanks. You will die. Forget the dream and awake under the morning sun. Hmm. You will be freed from this terrible hunter's dream. Hmm. Well, I did play. I wonder if Circle lets you cancel it. I did play. For the Indian of Dark Souls, I did sacrifice my life to keep the fire going. Even though I think the dark side's a better ending, but to keep it consistent, I kind of want to just submit my life here. Let's go for Farewell, it. My keen hunter. I'll look, I'll maybe look up the Indian on YouTube. Fear the blood. Is this it? Is this game over? I should have refused, I would have fought him probably, right?
So he was being honest with me. Do I get to control here? The dream existed after I died. Oh, she totally is a doll. I didn't even notice her hands are legit, like doll. Farewell, good hunter. May you find your worth in the waking world. Okay. I can't believe I finished it. I didn't think I was this close to the end. Okay. So. Here's my question. So, was this actually all just a dream? But not... Not literally a dream, like, like, when, when shitty movies are like, oh man, you woke up from a dream, like, that's, like, garbage. Is this, like, more sophisticated than that? Was that... Was I trying to combat these nightmare, f nightmare machines, nightmare foes to... Nightmare machines. Uh, I'm forgetting the name, the great ones. Does any of them get a foothold for the world? Is that why the hunt exists? To go into their world and fight them and cleanse it. To prevent them from evading our world. Like kinda like how Demon Souls, like technically the story is, where like the demons are unleashed upon the world. Is this my job is to keep them at bay and then once it's over I wake up from the dream into the real world? Or did I go to heaven? So here's a question. Was that actual what was going on in that game? Because if it explains if that was all a dream, that's why it allows me to wake up over and over again. It's interesting. But I don't think there's enough story to back it up that I've experienced so far. I'll probably have to go read some stuff. The thing is, for Dark Souls, I had a really strong idea of what was going on throughout that game. And it did a good job of developing it. I was like... First, escape the asylum. Next, ring the bells. Why are you ringing the bells? So you can do this and this and so on and so forth. By the end of Dark Souls, I knew exactly, almost, I knew about 60% of the story in Dark Souls. The last 40% is like reading every item description, getting into more critical theory, making some assumptions, and also the DLC, which didn't come out at that time, which there was actually a decent chunk of that in there. And also the alternate ending, talking to a character which you can completely miss, a major plot character you completely miss if you don't do a, if you do a certain... Um, most people will complete the game in that specific linear way, but there's a way of going around it. Which allowed you to meet this specific plot-based plot character which revealed a lot about the story, at least a different perspective on what you thought the story was in Dark Souls. Dark Souls 2 I never finished. I played a decent chunk of it, and I actually went and read, watched the ending, and looked up like all the information about it and everything like that. And the story is basically kind of retread the first Dark Souls, but with like a diff, a slightly different like thematic edge to it. Where Dark Souls one was about like either like the it was like centered around the idea of the hero. And the idea that if the hero lives, he becomes a monster. If the hero dies, he be stays the hero. He becomes a god, even, by by his sacrifice. Um, Dark Souls 2 seemed to be more about lineage and, like, rulership, rulership or something. And it seems kind of confused, and not a lot of people have a great idea of it. Because it, there's a lot of theories that it takes place in Lordran, but not necessarily the same exact kingdom of Lordran. 
like a different incarnation in a later time period. It's all very confusing. But apparently the uh, Skull of the First Sin, uh, the, that's addition of the game, is uh, adding some more plot elements and uh, changing a lot of things up. So make that stuff clear, hopefully. Bloodborne's a weird one. It has like the most story cutscenes and stuff, but it makes the least fucking sense. And I think a lot of it has to do that it does portray itself as this nightmare. It positions itself as this dreamlike experience, and because of its like its direct connection to like Lovecraftian mythology, that finding like the true happenings of Bloodborne and an inherent nature as like horror, as a piece of horror work, as a piece of horror work as a piece of Lovecraftian work and sacked on them with a piece of it um, from software's traditional storytelling. Mizaki, really interesting person. He has this very interesting insight into how worlds, digital worlds, should be represented in video games. How the structure is, how it should flow between each other, what kind of worlds you're investigating, and to what end. This one just has a lot of elements thrown around. Maybe it's because I was blowing through the game because I was streaming it, but I don't think I would have played this game any differently if I wasn't streaming it. I don't usually read a lot of the item descriptions and stuff in the Souls games. And you don't really need to to understand the core story of Dark Souls, the original Dark Souls. If you want to, like, branch off, if you want to, like, expand upon it and go further out, uh, you can always... There, you can discover most of that story, but like the core base of like why you're killing these people and why you're killing these monsters and why you're killing these gods and these former gods, and these false gods, um, it made it pretty clear. Dark Souls 2 is a little, at least gave you like some kind of narrative through line this game. I don't know why I'm doing what I'm doing and to what end I'm doing it for and why these things became monsters in the first place. Or something after cards. Also, all this like nursery stuff and like childhood stillbirths. All signed and sealed. Now let's begin the transfusion. Oh, don't you worry. Whatever happens, you may think it all a mere bad dream. <laughs> so at this point. Is he putting me under to become a hunter? To go into that nightmare world? Like, psychically, is it trans trans transferring me there? So how I originally read the scene at the very beginning is that the monster's covered in blood and it's arising from a pool of blood. Which represents the blood that's being transfused into me right now. <laughs> My armor fucks up this entire scene, basically. Because it sees through it. But, this is the foreign blood that's, like, gonna turn me into a beast here. But then it gets burned. And then the things that crawl out, the messengers, I assume are white blood cells fighting off the foreign blood and the foreign beasthood virus that's fighting off. So because I'm strong enough to fight them off, my immune system and my physio physiology... I then become a hunter because I'm able to survive contact with beasthood and the insanity that bring, that comes with it. That was my initial read of it. Uh, the additional context of like dreams and nightmares and stuff just. Ah, you found yourself a hunter. She talks. Is she talking to the guy then? All right. Is that my weapon? Okay, right, I do. Do 
Do I have all my items? I do have all... Oh, not all of them. I lost that key. Hmm. Okay, just throws you back into it. I want, I want to kill that wolf in the first go. I wonder if there's additional story stuff in here. Kinda of cool going back to this place and be able to just fuck this thing right up. Instead of it killing me. Might play with some of that uh, armor. And say armor when I go through this game again. I, it's short enough that I think I would go through it again. This is like the shortest I've ever. Like the first Dark Souls took me like a hundred hours to beat. Such a long game, such a difficult game, such a thorough game. Investigates everything that it can do with that design, with that base design. You get. These guys take off fucking damage. Holy shit. Maybe my weapon's not repaired. Or is it is it leveled up even? It is. I'm also trying to learn a new weapon. I want to kind of use this thing. Seems pretty fast. I like that the switch is just. If I want to Okay, so there's a switch combo to attacking. That's cool. That's useful to know. Do I get more souls? <laughs> Sorry, I'm just thinking about what happened. Is that the sun or moon? Old hand, I'm Gil. You must have had a fine time of it. Well, I don't, but I'm... This, what, what is... Okay. So I'm going to destroy stuff on this side. Hmm. But if it's blood you're interested, the church can across the valley to the east of you and deep within the birthplace. Yarnamites. Normally they would the hunt is on tonight. Across the valley, deep within I haven't that's yet. Did I get this cutscene the first time? So long ago, I don't remember. I mean, it was so long ago, but it wasn't actually that long ago. Did I keep my insight? Will she just be active right away then? I think it's when you get your first insight point that uh, she activates. I must have had this cutscene the first time. What would happen if I refuse? Would it just let me keep playing? Is that the only way of getting out? Do I not have any insight? Apparently not. Do I have any skulls? I thought insight dictated that. Oh, I can get another one. Interesting. Free weapons. Ah, welcome to the high. Um, you're sure to be in a 
fine. Just go out, you know. Easy. Just keep my storage. Nice. Alright, we got a bunch of flasks. Can I upgrade? That looks cool as fuck. I won't play through it with this weapon. Alright. Oath memory. Never found one of those. Oh, so I was thinking I had plate plus three more vials. I think since I played through this game, what do I have? Boost max stamina, physical damage reduction. 3% is a lot. I'd rather just get more. What is it? More blood echoes. More blood. No. That's not what I want. What's it called? Moon? Different colors, interesting. Boost mass HP. Stamina is more important than HP. I'm just gonna get all those. All those souls. Is the inside shop still open? Okay, cool. Are we anything cool? Does it unlock anything new? No, but I got so much insight. Uh, 50, 40, 90, 40, 60, 40, 150. Let's try. I'm just gonna buy all this armor. Fuck it. Might as well use insight for something. It's fucking worthless otherwise. I was holding on to it just in case I needed it, but. Also, I still got tons of challenge to chalice dungeons and fuck chalice dungeons. I never played through those. Now, let's see. Let's equip some of this armor. covers my eyes a little silly. I want to just take a look at the other armor and then I'm going to close out the stream for real. Um, yeah, that's a lot cooler. Look at that. Ready to go hunt some shit. Oh, that looks cool. Alright, folks. I'm going to switch to my trusty weapon. It's helped me through thick and thin. Never found a, found a bloodstone. I wonder how I get one of those. Well, folks, I've conquered Dark Blood Porn, not Dark Souls. I've conquered Bloodborne. I am now officially an esports athlete of the game known as uh, Bloodborne. I am a I'm a pro Bloodborne player. Finished it, conquered it. Uh, still, of course, some secrets left for me to discover, like any Souls game and like any esports athlete. I'm not fully peaked. I still got a lot of room to go. A lot of stuff for me to do. So, but that concludes this stream. Thank you so much for staying with me. I'm um, surprised that we finished it on this last turn here, and uh, there's a lot for us to think about as a group, I think, with the story of Bloodborne, the events that transpire, and how it fits into, like, the quality timeline of, like, from Software's Soul series. It's not as directly a Souls game, but it's clearly evocative of that. It uses similar gameplay techniques. Um, my theory is that it's probably the best best of these games that isn't called Dark Souls. Like, it's certainly better than Dark Souls 2. I didn't like Demon Souls that much, so I know I have people have a fondness for those series of games, but I don't think that that one, Demon Souls never really did much for me. Um, so I'd probably go right now uh, Dark Souls, Bloodborne, Dark Souls 2, and Demon Souls. I know that's probably a little not the most popular thing to say, but that's how I feel. You know? Uh, 
But yeah, that concludes it for this esports playthrough. I'm glad you can see my journey from an amateur Bloodborne player to a, a professional Bloodborne er, professional hunter. And uh, looking forward to doing one of these games. I would, I would actually probably be tempted to do Dark Souls 2 when it comes out on the PS4, uh, Scholar of the First Scholar of the First Sin Edition. Um, because I never finished that game. Apparently they're changing a lot up, and not only in terms of story and new NBCs, but also completely new enemy placements for everything. So, even if I have a, some memory of what's going on, apparently it'll be different enough that it won't be a big deal. So yeah, thank you so much everybody for watching, and I hope you all have a good day. And...